focus on power rule. Then our number three rule is power rule. Power rule is where you have a rule where you have a log of number m power of n with base a. Okay, you can change the power of n and bring it to, to in front and make it as a number or constant there. And log m a. Okay, so next we look at a change of base. Okay, change of base is divided into two parts, which you change into new base or other base. Okay, uh, that is not included in the equation. For example, here you have log m base a. So you use a new number which is log b. Okay, so the, uh, the number will be bigger on the numerator and the base will write turn on the denominator here. Okay, clear. Okay, next, it has its base. You change into its base. Um, base dia yang disebut kat sini adalah sebenarnya base sebu, sebutan. Okay, you have log M base A. So, you change to base M. This is sebutan log. Okay, or the number. Alright, you change to base M. Why you want to change to base M? Okay, you will write to this form. I'm sure you are familiar with this one. Because we want to change the value into 1 here. So it will be simplified 1 over log A base M. Okay, I hope you are familiar with this part. Okay, in order for us to continue our learning. Alright. Okay, uh, now we look at general properties for logarithm forms. Okay, as we learned before, you have a base number, any number, for example here A, you have common logarithm with base 10 and natural logarithm with base E. So now it's the properties. Alright. So from these properties, I want you to prove the form uh, to change it to form indices, alright, for us to understand this part. Alright, for example, you have log 1 a equal to 0. So any number with the base, any base number with the number 1 or so time, they are not common form. Okay. Or you can change the form into indices. Okay. which is a power of 0 equal to 1 alright a power of 0 equal to 1 it means any number equal to 0 you lose the number 1 so it's much easier actually to uh, to, to remember this part okay from this part you can also change into log form alright next log a base a equal to 1 so that means the number is a and it is the same as the base so it is equal to 1 let's change to the form of indices so it will be a power of 1 equal to a is it right yes okay the okay next one number three you have log a base a sorry you have log a power of x with the base a Okay, by the the rules before laws of logarithm, you know that any power of the base of the sebutan log, the power of the number you can bring to the front. Okay, so it can be as x log a base a. Right, so log a base a is equal to one. So that's why it changed as x here. Okay. Next, let's look at base 10. Log base 10, uh, we usually write as log only. Okay. Log 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Log 1 is equal to 0. So that means we have 10 here. How you want to rem remember this part? Okay. I would suggest you to remember the indices part where 10 power of 0, we know that equal to 1. Any number power of 0 equal to 1. Okay, how about this one? Log 10 equal to 1. Okay, if you can't see, you see it from here. Log 10, 10, log 10, base 10 is equal to 1 or 10 power of 1 equal to 10. But this one, you have log 10 power of x base 10. Okay, you bring to the front, so you will get x log 10 base 10. So this is equal to 1, you will get x. Okay. So, uh, what I'm trying to show you is actually 
sometimes you can remember in log, sometimes you can remember in form of indices. That's why you have to have the skill to change the pattern fastly. Alright, good enough. Alright, so next let's look at the new thing that you learn, which is natural logarithm base in. Okay, ln 1 equal to 0. Okay, ln 1, if you cut, if you put inside your calculator, uh, you will get the value ln 1 equal to 0. Okay, so can I rewrite it as log base e? So, okay, so this is the same thing. Okay, I want to change it in form of indices. So, it will be e power of 0 equal to 1. Okay. Ini pun ni, you can use your calculator. E power of 0 equal to 1. And you can see here, 10 power of 0 equal to 1. A power of 0 equal to 1. So, any number, power of 0, it will always be equal to 1. A million, power of 0, we get equal to 1. Okay. Next, log E is equal to 1. Okay, this is the fact, the value fact, right? Or you want to change it as base E. E. Okay. Ah, uh, from here you can see, bila sebutan is the same as the base. It will always equal to one. Same like here, equal to one base. Sebutan sepuluh base sepuluh. Sebutan A base A. Alright. Next, ln E power of x equal to x. Okay. If you are start here, if you see, ah, uh, inside your solutions. Uh, if, uh, you start dalam next ni, what you need to do is like to change the form so that either you can get the idea or not. Okay, so we can write it as log e e power of x. Okay, when you see this, the base is equal as the number here, and the number has its power. So you you can bring the power in front as log e base e. So this is equal to 1, so you get x, okay? Uh, that's what I mean, the useful of you change the pattern or try to change the form so that you can get idea to solve the equation, okay? So we take out one here, so that is 3, number 3. When you have the same base with the number that has power, you can bring the power in front. So end up where the value will be x. Alright, the power, the power lah. The power tu, dia akan jadi nombor biar. Alright, we look at number 4. Okay guys, number 4 is the new theorem. Okay, where it is in form of, what did I say eh? In form of indices, alright. Okay, it is indices, where the base, uh, and you have log as the power. Okay. I will write it back. Number four, you have a uh, index, alright? This is the form of index where you have log as your power. Okay? Where your base for the log is the same as the base for the indices, automatically your value will be the number the sebutan log okay for example here you see that here so this here is log base 10 okay so the base num the, the base number is the same as the base of the power log okay the log as the power the base is the same so you get x so here okay here i would love you to change the Long into log base e because when you change uh, you will get the idea easier uh, comparing for you to maintain in the form of ln okay but the, your final answer should be in ln okay for the questions all right if you see here our base is e and you have log as your power and the log itself has the same base as the index so automatic the answer the sebutan here will be a big number here. Alright, so number 4 is new to you. Okay, uh, but you need to remember this, okay, because you will see a lot in the solutions. Alright, we go to the number 5, we have log A with uh, the number 1 over N. 
equal to negative log A part A N. Log N base A. Why? Kenapa ada negatif kat depan ni? Okay. Why is it, class? Alright. 1 over N is mean N power of negative 1. Alright. Nah, ini kena biasa lah. Kena pandai lah dalam logs. It's familiar. 1 over N is equal to N power of negative 1. So, negative here you can bring to the front. So, that's why you get negative here. Nah, this is the same. Okay. Log 10. Log 10. So, negative 1 in front. Here, ln. Okay. So, negative 1 in, in front. Okay. This apply for fraction with 1 as the numerator. Okay, next we look at number 6. You have log from the both sides. Okay. With the same base. When you have log on the both sides with the same base, what you can do to solve the equation, alright, is you can equal the kita punya number alright so m equal to n alright ok so I think this part is not not hard but it has a lot inside our equation you will need to use that a lot alright